All right, now Samsung has launched its latest Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and you may be wondering whether you should upgrade to Galaxy Z Fold 6 from the Z Fold 5 or just stick to the Z Fold 5. In this video, I'm gonna share my thoughts about it. I have already pre-ordered the Galaxy Z Fold 6, and uh, as soon as I have it, I will give you an in-depth review of that very, very soon. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the differences between these two phones, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Z Fold 6, and I will tell you whether you should upgrade or not. First, let's talk about the pricing. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is launched at about uh, $1899 US dollars, which is about $100 expensive than the uh, predecessor, the Galaxy Z Fold 5. If you are exchanging the Z Fold 5 to Z Fold 6, of course, you will get some great deals, but still you will have to spend that extra amount for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now, that's a quick uh, overview of the pricing. The most important thing now is about the specification differences between these two phones. Is it going to be worth it if at all you upgrade it to the Galaxy Z Fold 6 from Z Fold 5? That is the question to be answered. First, let's talk about the upgrades that we are going to get on the Z Fold 6 from the Z Fold 5. The display is slightly wider and taller, but that wouldn't be that noticeable compared to the Z Fold 6. However, what is more noticeable is the ES Ultra-like edges that we are now getting on the Z Fold 6. In my opinion, this is a great design change. It looks really beautiful. Uh, personally, I like the Galaxy S24 Ultra's design, or for that matter, any uh, Ultra phone's design I like. So uh, I would personally feel that this is a great design, and this could be subject to you may like this sharp uh, corners or you may like that uh, slightly rounded corners on the Z Fold uh, 5. And Samsung claims the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is slightly tougher compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. We have enhanced armor aluminum on the Z Fold 6 compared to a regular armor aluminum frame on the Z Fold 5. And then we have got Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2, which is the same Gorilla Glass available on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. And we have got IP48 rating, which is better than the IPX8 rating that we have on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. There are definitely some upgrades in terms of durability, but these are going to be minor upgrades from the Z Fold 5. In terms of display, there is a big upgrade. Now the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has a peak brightness of 2600 nits, whereas the Z Fold 5 has 1715 nits. And both come with adaptive 120 hertz refresh rate, However, the Galaxy Z Fold 6's display can go down to 1 Hz, whereas the Z Fold 5 can go down to 48 Hz. So this will improve the battery performance on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. In terms of weight, now the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is 239 grams, whereas the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is about 253 grams. So the Z Fold 6 is going to feel a little lighter compared to the predecessor. Coming to the display size, the Galaxy Z Fold 6's outer display is 6.3 inches, and the Z Fold 5 has 6.2 inches, just about 0.1 inches uh, difference between these two. And then we have got the main display at 7.6 inches on both these phones. Now the next important aspect is the chipset. We get the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, which offers 42% uh, faster NPU, 19% better graphic processing, and CPU is enhanced by 18%, which will definitely be better and efficient compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Now coming to the battery, both these phones offer 44 mAh battery, uh, the numbers are same on both these devices, but because of the enhanced processor, we may get a slightly better battery life on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 series. In terms of storage, both the phones offer 256GB, uh, 512GB and 1TB options, and the memory is 12GB RAM on both these devices. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to the camera, it is the same specifications that we have on the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which was available on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. We have the same 10 megapixel cover camera, we've got 50 megapixel wide angle, 10 megapixel telephoto and 12 megapixel ultra wide camera on both these phones. So there is no change in terms of camera specifications. However, the camera quality might be uh, enhanced on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 series. Let's wait and see that. These are some key differences between these two phones, but I forgot to mention one thing, uh, the better hinge on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 series. Samsung has worked on the hinge as well, so you might get a more durable hinge on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 compared to the Z Fold 5. Now, considering all this, I would say uh, in terms of specifications, there is no major differences between these two phones. Especially in the camera department, it is the same specifications. Samsung should have improved the camera specs uh, on the Galaxy Z Fold 6, but we are still getting the same on both these phones. However, there are some important differences, key differences in terms of the processor, in terms of peak brightness, in terms of uh, the uh, adaptive display, which can enhance the battery performance, and even the chipset is more efficient compared to the previous chipset. So these are some major upgrades that you're going to get on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 series. Now, let's come to the AI features. Now, Samsung did introduce some brilliant new AI features on the Galaxy Z Fold 6, One UI 6.1.1, 
and we can expect the same features to come to the Galaxy Z Fold 5 as well. So in the future, we are going to get the update for the Z Fold 5 and uh, some of the predecessors as well, where we will get all these new features. So in terms of AI features, both the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Z Fold 6 will have similar features. So there won't be any differences there. However, the latest chipset on the Z Fold 6, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 made for Galaxy, may enhance the AI performance so that you get a better experience with AI on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. That is something to note here. Now, considering these specifications, if you ask me whether I would like to upgrade uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 to Galaxy Z Fold 6, I would say that may not be a great idea. However, if you are upgrading from the Galaxy Z Fold 3 or Z Fold 4, then I would suggest you not to upgrade it to Galaxy Z Fold uh, 5. You can straight away upgrade it to the Galaxy Z Fold 6. That will be the right thing to do. However, if you are upgrading it from Z Fold 5, it may not be worth it. But if you're getting great deals, great exchange offers for your Z Fold 5, then yes, you can go ahead and exchange your phone, the Z Fold 5 to the Z Fold 6. Basically, you will see the upgrades in the chipset department in terms of battery efficiency, in terms of display, and of course, the minor design change. These are some of the areas where Samsung has upgraded this phone. Otherwise, the camera, the AI features, the usability, the operating system, everything is going to remain the same on both the phones. So keep that in mind before you upgrade. That is all I wanted to share with you guys. You let me know what do you think about uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 6? What are your thoughts? Have you pre-reserved it? Are you upgrading your Galaxy Z Fold 5 to Galaxy Z Fold 6? Or are you uh, coming from any other predecessors? Do share your thoughts in the comment section and do let us know what are your thoughts about this all new launch. That is going to benefit the community. So be sure to comment down below. And uh, uh, while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.